Hey, Raxians, welcome back to another episode of Plant Side 2 Basic Training, and we're going to talk all about certification points, unlocks, and abilities. How do you get them? How do you purchase them? How do you use them? How do you equip them? So let's get started. So let's go over a couple of examples of when you earn certification points through experience. There's two ways to access this menu. The first thing you can do is hit Escape, or you can hit M and hit the certification button down below. Here you see all the classes and vehicles and leadership areas that you could spend points in. Let's talk about the combat medic. There are universal certifications you will find through many classes such as med kits and restoration kits. You can choose to equip one of these at a time. Explosives is much the same. Do you want an AOE healing grenade? Do you want a revive grenade that has an AOE effect? Or C4 or normal grenades. Again, you can only pick one to equip at a time, so be very careful. Suit modifications, again, some of these are common among different classes. The advanced shield capacitator, if you max this out, it reduces the amount of time that it takes for your shield to pop back up when you're out of combat. And this is important because if you're down to just health, it only takes a couple bullets from almost any gun to kill you. Do you want to be resistant to explosive damage and grenades? Do you want to carry more grenades of your specified type? What about Nano Weave Armor? When fully maxed out, it equips your user health by up to 25%. Symbiotic healing is unique to the medic class. As you heal others, it heals you when using the medical applicator. So if you're down in health, you don't have to spam your AoE heal. You can save that. Or do you want to carry more mags? Again, be very careful. You can only choose one of these. Triage is kind of neat. It heals others in the vehicle passively when maxed out at 2.8%. And you don't have to do anything. So if you're in a full stunder or galaxy, you can rake in some XP and help your team. The nano healing device reduces the cooldown period if maxed out, and this is an important, the medical tool. Increases healing by 50%, revives speed by 65%, revives infantry at full health, and max units at 20% health, giving you a bigger range to revive from. That's pretty important. And any gun that you may want to equip through the medic class can be found here. You could purchase them using cert points or station cash, and most importantly, you could equip them with your favorite accessories, optics, ammo, and more. Now that we've picked all this stuff, what are we going to do with it? How do we use it? Let's go over that next. So we just spent some station cash or cert points to acquire a bunch of new goodies and upgrades. And right now I'm heavy assault and I'm sitting in the middle of the world. Well, how do I fix this and how do I equip this stuff? It's not going to magically appear on me. Two ways. Approach any equipment terminal, hit E, and here you see your classes. Let's go into the combat medic, select that. Now select my primary weapon or hover over the attachments. I can quickly go into the optics, barrel, and rail accessories based on what I bought in the certification process. I can also change the weapon by selecting the main weapon. I can pick a saber, RF3, the shotgun, all things I bought. How do you go back? You either hit previous or you can go into the attachments right here. How do you equip it? Equip now. Now let's say this. I'm in the middle of a world. I don't have to get to a terminal. I can simply hit escape, hit the classes button, and here we go. Select my loadout. And let's say I want to go back to the cycler because we're going to be in an outdoor area where the fights are a little bit more distance. I could change the attachments right here. I love the reflex sight. Let's go flash suppressor and let's go under barrel shotgun to surprise the people trying to rush me in the corners. Now, how do you equip this? Simple. Respawn, select medic, or walk up to a terminal and hit resupply. And lastly, let's not forget about the abilities in the game. Same way, hit escape or go to a terminal. Select your loadout. And remember, I mentioned this before, some of the things you have to choose from. Nana Weave Armor, which I have maxed out, gives me 25% more health. To deactivate this, simply unselect it. Select something else. But if you want it, make sure it's highlighted. Go back. Grenades. 
do you have and did you buy the revive grenades, the healing AOE grenades, or C4? You'll have to choose one from here. And this same menu is where you resupply these items from. Be careful, some of these cost more points than others, so spend them wisely and make sure you're not running out. Once you spawn back in, you will be equipped with anything that you've chosen in that menu or when you walk up to a terminal and hit resupply. Spending cert points or station cash on vehicles is much the same way. You can do it from a terminal or you can hit escape and simply hit the vehicle tab at the very bottom. If you want to spend your certs, you can simply do it here. Select the vehicle you're interested in and hit go to my certs. Do you want to buy a new main gun? Do you want to buy a new secondary gun? Do you want to upgrade your passive systems, utility slot, or defensive slot? But be careful, you can only equip one at a time, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Or do you want to upgrade your gun? Do you want zoom optics, infrared, thermal optics, upgrade the reload speed or the ammo count, or do the same thing for your secondary gun? All those options are there. And boy, are there a lot of them. So how do we go about changing our loadout? Much the way we do as infantry. You can either walk up to the terminal and hit E, select your vehicle, and get right to it, or you can hit Escape. But be careful. Don't overlook your main gun and secondary gun upgrades available. There are multiple slots. Also, the utility slot, the defensive slot, and C, you have to choose one. Deactivate it, select the other one, it's your choice. Next time you pull up a vehicle, that'll be your settings. And again, you can always go back to the certs if you skipped over something or made a little boo-boo. And of course, the system is nice. If you're about to spend certs, it's going to ask you, are you sure? Thanks for watching this episode of Basic Training, and I'm kind of curious. What vehicle or class are you going to start on? Or are you going to kind of spread the wealth over a couple classes? Let us know below. Sony.